Hi, Rand here. Now today I'm going to take you to a little walk through Pomona's history. Just a piece, a small portion of some of Pomona's great history. Now what we're going to go see is an old horse stable, old houses, and a few pictures of some old houses. Some old churches are tucked away in Pomona's neighborhoods. Now Pomona was known for having a lot of churches, and it still does today. And a lot of them are tucked away in, in our neighborhood. So I got a few pictures of those. And I got old sidewalk. Uh, dates back a long time ago. And also uh, old, uh, let's see, what was it? Old uh, neighborhood uh, stores also. Like there used to be a lot of these like uh, neighborhood stores. One that comes to mind is the old arts market. And more. So stay tuned while we take a walk through some of Pomona's history. And like always, you take care, and you take care of those ones you love. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, I'm on Buena Vista, right below Mission. This empty lot, when I was growing up, a guy used to keep his horses here. That's when you were able to keep uh, animals, like horses or pigs or uh, cows, calves you can raise. But that was back then. I'm on the corner of Buena Vista and 9th, which you're looking at used to be where the Pomona Brickyard used to be. As a kid, I knew a kid who lived down the street and we used to jump the fence and play around in all the bricks. But that was back in the uh, early 60s. Yeah, check it out. That's the old Sacred Heart Church where I made my first Holy Communion here on Hamilton and uh, Grand. And I'm going to pan over here. And when I was a kid, I used to come to the church, here, or the hall here, and uh, come to dances. I was like 13, 14 years old. The people who would throw the dances was a club called the JTLs, I believe it was. Okay, this is the hall, Sacred Heart Hall. What you're looking at is Pomona College First Schoolhouse. It used to be located up on what was it, White Avenue and uh, Mission? But they moved it down here years ago. And uh, so it's now located down here on Hamilton and Phillips. Been here ever since. I'm always interested in what people have in the yards like this, what this guy's got. He's got an old gas pump. Old wheel. Very interesting. Yeah, hi, I'm over here on 11th and Rebecca. Now, Pomona used to have all these little neighborhood stores like this one. This one here, you can tell. <laughs> Not longer a store anymore, just boarded up. But used to have a lot of them in our neighborhoods like this one. Yeah, hey, Ren here. I'm over here on 2nd Street, almost to the corner of Park Avenue. You know, while they're doing this road construction, they uncover quite a bit of uh, Pomona's past. Like, for instance, here in the rain gutter, these are old bricks that they used to use. And while they were uncovering or doing their road construction, they uncovered these bricks. It's too bad we couldn't save these and leave them exposed so the people can enjoy them. But they go all the way down to Parcells. Yeah, I'm standing on, standing on Park Street right now and over here at the Pomona Armory. Um, you know, we're so used to looking at this, I think some people forget, forget where the front is. Now when 6th Street used to go all the way through, before they did all this remodeling new police station, this used to be the front of the Pomona Armory. Now it's all hidden, and you rarely get to see it unless you get out and walk over and take a look at it. But this is the front of the old Pomona Armory, what it looks like today. Over here, uh, this is pretty much 
seems to be pretty well anchored into the wall of the fireplace. And from diagrams we have, this would have been an officer's area, maybe an officer's mess. And this mosaic of tiles has units on here probably dating back to World, or right around World War II. Maybe this was mounted at that time or just after World War II. There's some units on here, like for instance, the District of Paris and, and the Naval Aviation. All the branches of the military service are on, the, on this mosaic. And what you, what's really interesting is that the four corner tile pieces represent the veterans of foreign wars on the bottom left, the American Legion to the bottom right, the Spanish War veterans in the upper right, and the Grand Army of the Republic in the upper left. So this is definitely uh, a unique piece, uh, probably definitely one of a kind that I would be aware of, and it's, it's beautiful. So uh, we use this as our classroom and also a display area for some of the awards and citations that the Young Marines have, have been awarded. And uh, gladly, if there's any, if, if you would like more information about the Young Marines, you can go to www.youngmarines.com or you can reach our unit at southlandyoungmarines.org and we'll gladly uh, uh, email, communicate with you and share you more about our program. We'd love to have visitors come see us here at the Army. Yeah, if you ever see me walking around uh, with my head down, now, uh, I'm not looking for money. Well, sometimes I am, but I'm always looking at old dates on sidewalks. For instance, this one's 1909. That's an old sidewalk. And uh, kind of pan where I'm at. It's over there, the courthouse. And this is over on 8th and Gordon. But yeah, that's why I'm always looking down if you ever see me. Walking around the streets. 1909. Yep, it's an old one. Yeah, I'm over here on 4th Street. And I always found this interesting about these horseshoes. I don't know, maybe there was a blacksmith here or something at one time, or... I don't know. Somebody had a good time, though, with horseshoes. I'm over here, uh... There's the Athens Church in the background, but yeah, check these horseshoes out. Pretty trip. Yeah, I'm on the corner of Second and Park, and what you're looking at is the old Pip Boys building. It's been here for 50s and 60s, then it moved to the corner of Palomars and Holt. That would used to be the old Safeway building, and now it's the Pip Boys building. And it still is to this day. Yeah, we used to come here and get bike parts and car parts with my dad and my brother. Brings back a lot of memories. Okay, what you're looking at now, I'm over here on 2nd Street. And uh, when I was a kid, my brother and I used to come over here and get our haircuts. It used to be called Curly's. Curly's Barber Shop. There's two gentlemen that used to operate the cha two chairs in there. And they had the best comic books in the world. They had a whole stack almost as tall as I was. So it was great to come over here and get a haircut and catch up on the latest comic book issues. Yeah, Curly's Barbershop. Well, I used to get my haircut.